Kevin and Klein, and this is Resident Evil 7. Okay, I got in the code, and I can't remember the code. Uh, I will be right back. Okay, so code is one four zero eight. Oh, buddy, this is a test of skill, so no cheating. That shit you're carrying, get rid of it. Ah, <sighs> shit. the video that uh, the one guy died so I don't know how all this is done there we go lights alright what do you say we play a little game all you gotta do is light the candle and put it on the case kiss my ass Ethan there are children in the building somewhere. I think. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> okay. Where's the toilet? Reach in and grab the nastiness. Is it the same code as it was last time? It is.
And I died. Damn it. Okay, so I can't do it the way it was done in the video. Have a nice day. Kiss my ass. Ethan, language. There are children in the building. Somewhere, I think. I'm not sure anymore. Here, light, light the candle. Where he was. I guess watching the whole thing. Mia? Mia? Mia! She's alive. Who, who are you? Where are you? We're just beyond the pier, outside that room. Hurry! Where am I? Ethan! The fuck do you want? You? Dead? <laughs> guess that's not in the cards. Not yet. Lucky me. Look, unless you have any more surprises up your sleeve, I suggest oh, you... Oh, Now that would be telling, Ethan. And I don't do spoilers. Dick. Finally. Find that treasure. I 
I will be right back. I'm gonna go look for it. There we go. Repair kit. Repair kit for what? I used to pick up this shop. Well, then there's that toy shop out up there. What if I use the toy shotgun to replace the broken shotgun? Maybe that's what I'm supposed to use the repair kit for. I'm gonna go check that out. I may or may not cut it out. Toy shotgun, toy axe, whatever the reason for the fucking toy axe is. Ethan is way too trusting to those ladders. Too many items. Oh, damn.
I didn't get it. What is it? What? Toy shotgun. Ha <laughs> ha! Hell yeah! We'll get the repair kit. Hell yeah! New shotgun. Do 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 I got a new shotgun. Okay, now to go across the bridge. I'm coming near. Probably a bunch of death. What is that? I just picked up handgun ammo. Oh. Really, really, I need. Can't believe I need. Fuck him. Ah, really? So much running back and forth. <sighs> Come here and do that thing. Insert this thing. Oh, wait, no, you need an item. Go back and get your item. Come back. Powder? No. Alex, psychiatrics, whatever they're called. 
that. Put this fucking thing back. This fucking thing back. Go. Zoe? Zoe. I... Not now. We don't have the time. Do you have both ingredients? Should be enough, right? If we make him fast enough, my father and Lucas aren't far away. He's coming. Daddy's coming. Good. There's enough for two. So after we make the serum, what's next? There's a boat outside. We'll take it through the swamp. But none of us will get very far without the serum. Wow. Oh, you... Why against you? What 
Try to jump. <laughs> Shit. Two more rounds. There it is, the last die. You're part of the family now. More handgun ammo, that's what I thought.
I had to use one of them. There's only one left. There's only... There can't just be one left. What the hell are we gonna do now? Cure Zoe? Or Cure Mia? Zoe's been kind of helpful, but... All she did was make phone calls. Me is the whole reason I'm here, but she did cut off my hand. On a plus note, I could pretty much get her to do anything I want now, cause be like, man, I need a foot massage. She'd be like, no, I don't want to give you a foot massage. Well, I do it myself, but my hand just doesn't work the same. Should somebody cut it off? Mia. It's fine. It was foolish thinking I could escape. But Zoe... Go! Both of you just go! Hey. Come with us. I'm, I'm sure there's someone who can help. This is my home. Apparently I belong here. I'll send help. Don't bother. There won't be anyone left to help! Is that it? Did I win? Ethan? Thank you. Who the hell else was I gonna choose? Ethan. Mia, I know you've been through a lot. We need to talk. She's been you through a lot. To do with all this, didn't you? Bullshit. Look, I just want to know the truth. Ethan, I honestly don't remember. Try. <laughs> Holy shit! Is that the boat? Oh. How the fuck did that get here? Those things. Ah, damn it. What is that? What is that? Um, how am I yelling underwater? Ethan does have some skills. That's creepy. Mia, you got some splaining to do. Oh. Um. Okay then. I'm Mia now. Ethan? Where you at, Ethan? Oh, how the tables have turned. <clears throat> Me's a little bit faster. Who's that? Ethan? Oh, that's Ethan. Ethan. Oh! Ethan! Ethan! Jesus. How well, that happened? The mold, mold stuff. <sighs> I 
I'm not going that way. Can I go this way? Nope. What? Oh, flashbacks, I guess. Was it the boat she was on? What was that? I guess it has to be. Because Ethan mentioned it. That's the boat, right? What did it do? How did it get here? Or whatever he said. Nobody pays attention to Ethan. It's Ethan. Whoa. What am I supposed to do? They're Whoa. Dead. They're all dead. What is it? The engine room. What the fuck are you talking about? She killed them all. Fuck. What the hell is going on? We need some weapons. Is there any weapons on this ship? I, I, I don't know. But look, let's go this way. Maybe we can get out of here. Down we go. That would have been a perfect opportunity to scare the crap out of me. Okay, not this way. Not that way. Type of door. Oh, her. Dead end. Crew register Captain Edge Carlisle, I guess. Chief Engineer Paul Fitzgerald, First Officer. Giovanni Finetti, Second Officer Clark C. Walsh, Mechanic Dwayne Chalmers, Chalmers, Communications Technician Jim Stockman, Physician Gerald Waddle, Waddle. <laughs> uh, Waddle. Oh, there's next. No. Oh, oh. You must have been hiding from something. Oh, no shit. She's not my child. Oh, whoa. She's inside me. Inside everyone. Jesus, what happened here? The mechanics got his work cut out for him. I like that painting though. LNG tanker Annabelle built in 1987. Dead weight tonnage 71,000. Length 948 feet. That's a big boat. I really like that painting. Listen, 
I didn't see shit. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Hello. Don't guess I have much of a choice. You said we could be a family. What are you talking about? You said. Wait. Jesus. I'm tired of waiting. Strange bottle that you found in your pocket after waking up at the Baker Estate. Probably important. Machine gun ammo. Oh. Oh, an herb. Needs to shut. I didn't open that. I was on River Cruise Guy, beating the Black Lagoon. Show you that later. I need a weapon. Wait a second, I need a weapon. I need a weapon. <laughs> Close. 
a small standard power handgun acquired on the wrecked ship. It's too late for us, but at least I can let the world know what happened here. I was on night shift yesterday, so I was taking a nap in the bunk room around noon. I was half asleep and I heard a kid, a little girl, laughing. Or was that all in my head? I woke up at 9, 19.30. There was some sort of ruckus in the passageway. Drew, one of the engineers, came in and said there was something going on down below, maybe a riot. He looked pale in the face. He told me he was going down to check it out, but he never came back. It must have been around 1950 when I heard the scream. I went to the laundry room to check and saw Clark being eaten by some sort of blackish monster. The monster turned and started coming toward me, huge shark-like teeth snapping in his jaw. I just screamed like a little girl and ran for it. Now I'm huddled up in the bunk room, shaking as I write this. There's a whole host of those creatures lurking in the passageways now. I can still hear screams now and then, but there's no way I'm going out there now. And that's it. I've written everything I know. Giovanni Finetti. 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 Why can I look at this but not do anything with it? it makes no sense. Jer Dear Janet, hey, how's it going? I guess half a year or so have ha will have passed by the time you get this letter. Life is so boring here. Day after day, just the same old sea. Although, there is one thing that's different. This time we have some passengers sailing with us, which hardly ever happens. It's a couple with a little girl. I think they're distant relatives of the captain. Imagine, traveling on a tanker instead of a passenger ship. They must be hard up. I tried talking to the little girl earlier, and her dad shot me this nasty look. What's he so worried about? Now that I think about it, the captain said he didn't even have any relatives. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I miss you. Love, Jim. Floors to this damn thing. All I have is an empty gun. Locked from the other side.
What's that? Who's that? Oh. Watch it. What? Why? You need to remember so we can be a family. Um. Okay then. Guess I'm watching videotape. Serves me right. It's my fault she got out. Yeah, it is your fault. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna let you die. She didn't attack you? It's part of her imprinting protocol. I can't believe this is happening. Here, take it. It has her tissue samples. You find her, you fix this. Okay, Evie, where are you? Special Operations Division, Director Alan Druni, caretaker Mia Winters. Recent reports suggest that if Evelyn, Evelyn, remains at her current location she is at high risk of being stolen by opposing organizations your orders therefore are to transfer Evelyn to our central american branch for safekeeping until further notice during transfer be sure to adhere to the following protocols act as parental guardians for Evelyn at all times to avoid suspicion manage Evelyn's vital vitals via the genome codex provided if the mission is compromised beyond reconciliation, dispose of Evelyn. Jesus, dispose of a little girl? No wonder she's so pissed. Is that what you tried to do? You deserve whatever she did to you. Disposing of little girls. Machine gun. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm Calvin Inclined, and I will see you guys the next time you're feeling a little inclined. <laughs>